Hello, and I'm Tina, and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of just a subject um, fun school and basket. This fun school and basket is geared towards history. And now, this basket, both of my kids share, um, and these are some of the things that's in it. Now, my daughter is going to be using the time travel history fun schooling journal, fashion dreams, and my son is going to be using the timeline of world history make your own so this is a make your own journal and my daughter is is going to be hers is dealing with fashion so the books that i have in particular to go along with this because the problem that i was having is that i have so many ideas for this particular journal and hers is so fun and then i was looking at how I was going to do with my son. I was like, oh my goodness, how can I make it interesting for him? And I, I couldn't really think. I said, well, maybe I just let him just do how the men dressed back in this time in the same, in harmony with this. But then I was like, I don't know. I don't know. But then I'm going to tell you about the cool idea that my friend Francis, who was also a homeschool mom, gave me an idea on how I can do that. Because I did think of some other things, but I really liked the way she, her idea a little bit better. So let's get right started with what I use, what I'm going to use with my daughter with this particular journal. My daughter, she will be using this book, the Fashion Design Handbook, and it's geared towards how to make clothing for dolls. So I'm going to get her a doll, and I have, I went to the Goodwill and got different pieces of the cut it up fabric um, that's in the bin for a dollar. So she's going to be doing that, and she's supposed to be learning how to sew so she's going to be trying to make clothing and stuff i got her this first lady's uh, fashion coloring book of the time periods she has this dk fashion book talking about fashion and stuff during the time periods and she also has the first lady's fat book facts <laughs> Um, and it talks about from all the various time periods and tell you different interesting facts about the first lady. That's what she's going to be using with her journal. Now, my son, what he's going to be doing in particular, we're going to, with both things, we're going to be learning because I'm we're going to be doing this together. How he's going to use his, he's going to be incorporating how furniture was during these time periods so when she's doing like the 1800s he's going to be doing the 1800s as well he's just going to be looking at how furniture looked in 1800 and maybe get a picture copy this and or draw it and then write the time period he's also now this is the idea that my friend came up with that homeschools as well and i'm going to use this because he absolutely loved anything with wheels cars trucks well, he likes boats as well, and that doesn't have wheels. But anything that's movable, he loves it. So, we're going to do, he's going to do time, t the timeline for history with transportation. I think he's going to absolutely love this. Because, again, my son loves bit fonts, bit writing. So, he's going to be doing, and my daughter and him going to be learning about the different furniture from the time period. And he also is going to be focused on his history part with different transportations during the time period and he also has this book from us born and this is another additional book that i have about the dictionary of antiques and collectibles it talks about all the different things from different time periods so we're going to be incorporating that as well now for activities for both of them to do i also have this wonderful book um hands-on activities for civilizations it's basically has the children go back into time and they have to do things the way that they did it. And it's through all the civilizations. So when we're talking about Mesopotamia, for example, we would do this activity with Mesopotamia. This hands-on activity. The kids, we already started this book, uh, workbook, and the kids, um, actually, they really love the activity. So we'll be doing that together. We will also be using the... If I'm saying it right, the King's Kingsifer, Kingfisher, I'm sorry, History Encyclopedia to go along with the history. 
I also have DVDs. We'll be using this as well. And then we get to Black History. We'll be talking about from A to Z, different black heroes. We also have an additional book talking about the elections of 1860, the Civil War. We also have flashcards for American history, which are pretty cool. Not too much, but just to the point. And it's called Did You Know? Which we're going to be using this as well. We're going to be using these flashcards for Native American history. When we get to the part about Native Americans or American Indians. And the flashcards just is gorgeous. So we're going to be doing that. And I also have not the complete set, but I have quite a few of the world history U.S. weeklies. I have U.S. weeklies dealing with the United States, and I also have um, world history. So they actually can just sit down and read the newspaper and do the activities that's in it. And in my household, with our homeschool, I have to have a variety of different ways introducing the same subjects or the same um, whatever time period we're talking about because my kids, they need variety. So I have to, and I need it as well because it gets boring to me if I'm teaching the same old humdrum thing day in and day out. It needs to have some flavor, if you know what I mean. So we have different ways of introducing the different history aspects to make it more fun. They also have the U.S. President's flashcards. And these are beautiful as well because they're in color. And it has which president they was. Like this was the 23rd president. So they'll be using that as well. With their um, U.S. history. So I, help, I hope that this video helps you get like an idea of how you can see how I did it. And then you can either take these ideas and copy them. Or you can just take them and improve them. Because of course I know my this idea can be improved in some kind of way. Or try to say oh. Well, I can use this. Oh, I'm not going to use that. Oh, I like that, but I don't like this. So just basically my videos are just giving you to see how I'm doing it. And then you can actually just go in and then do it your own way. Remember, make it fun. That's the idea of fun schooling. Make it fun. And gear it towards your unique family, your unique homeschool. Don't try to keep yourself in a box. Lift yourself. Be free with creativity. Again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy discussing how I do or how my family and I have our history curriculum that is based on the fun schooling journals and how we use them for these particular journals. This is for my son who is in the sixth grade. This is for my daughter who is in the eighth. So again, this is Tina. Have a good day.